successful investing is all about. And uh, the first point is know what you own. I can't believe how many people own stocks. They couldn't describe to an 11-year-old in two minutes or less why they own this thing. So this is James, and he made millions just with mutual funds in 15 years, and he owned 10,000 square feet house on the beach side in Miami, Lamborghinis and two Ferraris. When asked, James said he made all the money working as a sales rep in retail and by pumping his saved money consistently in his 401k every single year. This example of James that I just mentioned is all Bullshit. and I just made it up. And if you're still with me, then stick around for a real life tragic example of my colleague. Let's get real. You're not going to see or find anyone on this planet who became super wealthy in their youth by investing in mutual funds consistently or even in stocks. If that would have been the case, every 4th out of 10 people on this planet would have been a Ferrari owner and probably owned a fully paid mansion. It is all just talk of shit. And yet, you can still find tons of videos, especially on YouTube, on becoming wealthy in 10-15 years with stocks and mutual funds. Which is not totally false, you still can get wealthy by investing in stock and mutual funds in a short period of time. But to do that, you need piles of cash already in your bank account means you gotta be rich already to do that. What is wealthy or rich according to you? You can find millions of different definitions of wealthy and rich person. Everyone has their own definition because a person who makes 40,000 a year thinks a wealthy person is the one who makes 100,000 a year. And on the other hand, a person who makes 200,000 a year thinks that a rich person is the one who makes 1 million in a year. If you can get rich slowly is your strategy, then I have bad news for you. It is a losing game. And yes, this quote is from the book Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. As I mentioned earlier, can you show me a young man or lady in their 20s or even 30s got rich because they just invested in mutual funds or stock market for a few years. No, you cannot find them. Why? Because those people do not exist. The attention span of people is already in decline and we watch videos on YouTube from the so-called financial gurus without being subjective and believe that this is how the world works without doing simple research. They always advise to keep investing in stock market and mutual funds or penny stocks and enjoy the reap fruit of your patience in your 60s or 70s. Now, who knows if you're even going to be alive? Have you ever thought about that other than saving money? Now, can you imagine working your ass off, saving money your whole life, not taking much vacations, not eating anywhere you want to and thinking, oh yeah, I will be enjoying my life when I'm 55 or 60 or 65. Imagine getting a heart attack at 50 because you worked too hard or took so much stress in your life that you did not pay any attention to your health. I have a great example of my beloved colleague bill which is not his real name but for this video we will call him bill with whom i worked closely and he was a territory sales executive in a national food delivery company in canada where i worked as a territory manager as you can see on my linkedin profile he was a really hard working man and he used to work 10 11 hours every single day and travel for work all the time as well he loved making that commission and working hard but one day when i was on my one month vacation my other colleague and a close friend called me that bill died unexpectedly in his bed at the age of 48 years old it was a big moment of realization for me that the way i am living on big budgets and saving like 50 60 percent of my income every single month i cannot keep doing that for the next 20 plus years i mean it is not a bad habit for the short term for example for five to six years but not for the long term and i don't even know if i'm going to be alive tomorrow again i'm not saying that you should not invest for the long term you should but here in this video, I'm talking about living with stress and saving every single penny for 20 plus years. Now, after that realization, I started working on things on the side. And recently, when I got laid off in March from my well-paying remote job, I started my own consulting business that is fully automated with one employee. And along with that business, I started working as a freelancer with a very good margin, doing the same job I was doing as an employee. And on top of that, I started this YouTube channel along with writing my weekly newsletter. 
And if you think you cannot get wealthy or become a millionaire without investing slowly for 20 to 30 years, then let me show you this article here with numbers from WealthX, which shows that the world's richest people are self-made and only 8.5% inherited the money. Majority of these people build everything on their own from scratch. If you ever thought of starting your own business and then your friends or family member or the internet showed that the market is already saturated and you stopped pursuing that dream of opening up your own business, then you made a big mistake. And don't worry, it is still not too late. All you need to do is find out from other businesses what they are lacking in the services they are providing to customers. Here you need to think like a customer, not as businessman. If it is a thousand dollar solution that you can provide to a problem, then you will be making thousands. If it is a million dollar solution, then you will be making millions. Simple as that. I mean, look what Amazon did. Lower the time for waiting and delivering and look at all the other companies that Amazon owns. I do not support Amazon due to ethical reasons, but just for the sake of this video. The same goes for Netflix. From renting physical copies of movies, now the biggest streaming platform in the world in less than 15 years. It is not hard to start a business as long as you know what you're doing with the experience and skills that you already have have. For example, I am working on creating online courses now with my expertise in recruitment for people who want to crack interviews for various different positions within the tech industry, accounting, manufacturing, and corporate sector. It is not hard for me to create the material and courses because I already have almost three years of experience as a professional recruiter. You can use your own experience or skills that you learned in school or work to open up a services or consulting business as well. You can create your own website, yourself without paying any money to the web developers and without learning any coding you gotta take that business as seriously as your job with fewer hours every single week so it is not a huge sacrifice now in the end it all comes down to how many people you're making happy by providing solutions to their problems. Once you stop chasing money and started chasing problems and their solutions, in almost no time, you will see customers coming to you. I've seen that myself in a very short time with my consulting business in immigration. You work for customers, not the other way around. I'll repeat that again. You work for customers, not the other way around. This is the equation from which all the wealth is found. At the end of the day, would you feel satisfied with your work, business, and money that you're making? Well, only you can answer that. Here it is. Getting rich slowly is getting rich old and potentially not able to enjoy the money that you're working for. It is really hard to squeeze in all the different topics of wealth creation, business, and entrepreneurship. They're all way too vast for just one video. But if you want to get ahead by learning in depth about these certain topics, I would recommend you to read or listen to MJ DeMarco's work. This video was heavily based on a chapter from Millionaire Fastlane. This video does not apply only to businesses or making money. It applies to your current job or future job. Thank you for getting to the end of this video and do not skip off just yet. I just want to mention that these documentary style videos take many, many days and sleepless nights to do all the research, gather data data, media, edit, music, along with a full-time job and a business. So your support does really matter if you find something helpful from the work that I have put into this video. So please hit that like button and comment your thoughts in this video and any suggestions you might have for me. Click that subscribe button for future uploads as well. And a very big thank you for your time and I will see you in the next one.